Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol at Big Cat Rescue and today it is Catherine and Mama Becky trying to get Cameron fed and <laughs> they're trying to lock him out of this area so they can go in and put in a turkey for him and he almost got to the door before they did so he's going to be hungry. Zabu's been locked up over here so that she's not in our way while we try to get him to eat. And, you know, I was just thinking, it was back, whoops, that was scary. <laughs> um, it was back in November at, right before the wildcat walkabout that we were thinking that Cameron's time had finally come because he just wasn't eating enough. We've always had to beg him to eat several meals a day. They're offering him food. I was trying to do it with one hand and I just can't. <laughs> But it was back around the time of the wildcat walkabout that we were thinking he was just at the end of his rope and ready to go. And we thought, well, we'll wait until after the walkabout. And then he started eating. And it's just been again and again and again that he will eat fine for a while and then he starts going off of his food. And so lately, it's like every three or four days, he'll eat a turkey. And you might think, well, why don't you just give him a turkey every day? It's because he won't eat a turkey every day. <laughs> He's got to build up an appetite to it. So that's what they're doing right now is giving him just a turkey. Have you moved into your tiny house yet? Not yet. Is there something still to be fixed? No, I just haven't had time. Been busy moving everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> just sent Becky over to see if they can direct the tour the other way so that Cameron will come over here to eat. Thank you. Come on, Boo Boo. So his turkey has been delivered. I gotta see what kind of rabbit you can pull out of your hat to get him back on his feet. <laughs> He's gonna wanna come back and see her. Aha. Uh -huh. You are the And we forgot the pole. <laughs> Man! Oh. We put a pole across the door like that to keep the cat from knocking the door up and coming in with us. Loki's, you must be from the UK. I found out that the star that was named in honor of Winsong the Bobcat, who was the founder of Big Cat Rescue, was actually purchased by Bella Rourke. So shout out Bella for that wonderful way of commemorating Winsong for all time. She's in the constellation called Groose, which is, um, it means bird. Doing a lion dance. Can you raise 
door and hopefully help them this way. terribly worried about Zebu. She's had weird little stuff like that going on and you know, they, both of them are 18 years old. If you multiply that by six, that's what they would be if they were humans. They're really, really old cats. So of course they're going to have some weird health issues. I feel like I'm not adding to this situation any. I was hoping you guys would get to see him eat, but not if I'm keeping him from going over there. You need to go tell him to come to you. Say, come here, my camera. I'm leaving. Here he comes. See him? Get all the way in though. He is licking his lips. Yeah, I apologize for the sound. I didn't put the wind muffler on the phone because I came running out here and forgot it. And I don't want to talk loud around them because that distracts them. Once she gets that door down, I'll see if I can get you guys a better view. Sorry, I was distracted there for a minute. The cat next door apparently caught and ate a bird. <laughs> Catherine looked over at her. She's like, what are you eating? <laughs> it's not food time. hens. He went through a period of time that he liked duck. Um, every day it's a, <laughs> a whole bucket full of options to give him different things to see if there's anything that he will eat. And lately the only thing he wants to eat is a whole turkey. And like I said, even though we can offer it every day, he won't eat it except every three, every two or three days. So they pack it full of his medications and pray that he eats enough of it. Somebody asked me how worried I am about Zebu, and I just really don't even know how to answer that question because we worry so much about Cameron that we hardly ever even consider Zebu because she's been so healthy and had, by contrast, such, so fewer, I don't even know how to say that, so fewer problems, such fewer problems. 
<laughs> she's like, I'm going back to bed. But then, you know, she'll do something like that crazy thing where she nearly drowned and all of a sudden you realize that in an instant things can turn really badly for them if they have a stroke or a seizure. Alright, well I'm going to let him enjoy that in peace. Thank you everybody for joining us. Love you guys. Talk to you later.